What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Bald Man Reacts. I got contacted by Devon Van Dave, the keyboard player for the new symphonic metal band out of Portugal called Glacia, and asked me if I would check out their video for the track Heaven's Demise. So, let's go ahead and get into it. They're a symphonic metal band from Portugal. Other than that, I don't know what to expect. The band is classy, the track is Heaven's Demise, and here we go. Definitely hear the influences. You get the Nightwish and the Tristania and the keyboards, and the other more symphonic metal bands out there. Great scenery, great location to shoot. Big and bombastic sense there. Nice heavy riffing. Nice solid groove. Great bass tone, right where I look for it. Keyboard accidents there. Got to be honest, it runs a little bit more of After Forever, and you can definitely hear the floor in her voice. Good strong riffs here. Gotta be honest, the chorus is definitely predictable. You know, it's gonna have that easy going riff. Big bombastic melodies. Love the guitar tens. She's got a really strong voice. Got a good vibrato in her voice. A spoken word going on. You know, technically, it's really sound. The, it's mixed well, it's recorded well, the players are really strong. But the lead guitar player here has got a great sound. It's a little 
Harpy Z. Little bit of Kirk hand up there. That was Glacia in Heaven's Demise. So, I've got an interesting feeling with this. Technically, it's really good. I know all the players, as I was saying, all the players are really strong. She's got a good voice. I do. It does feel like she's draining a little bit here and there. She's got a nice vibrato, which is pleasant. But it's all familiar. It's all really familiar. If you're if you've been a fan of Nightwish, of Tristania, of After Forever, of Theater of Tragedy, of Leaves Eyes, of of Within Temptation, you've heard it before. And I kept listening to it, looking for something that's going to show me what the band sounds like. Because you hear the influences, and the influences are there. But the problem is, that's mainly what I'm hearing. You know, I'm looking for something to connect with me that's Glacia and not their influences. It's a very polished track. It's mixed well, it's recorded well. But even the guitar solo, it was really familiar, it was really predictable. You you kind of knew where it was going to go and how he was probably going to phrase. And I'm not hearing anything that's them and I'm not hearing anything that I haven't heard, especially with the symphonic metal. You know, that's what I'm looking for these days. And I, I do understand that the vocalist things for a Nightwish cover band, so you're gonna certainly gonna get that there. So, from a technical standpoint, it was really good. You know, it was well written. It just sounded like their influences. You know. With further tracks from them, I want to hear. I want to hear what Glacia sounds like. I want to hear what they, as a band, envision their sound to be, and not just playing off the influences and sounding like them. And that's tough, but I know there's got to be that originality and something in there that can be unique. But it was enjoyable. I just couldn't connect with it completely from on an emotional level simply because I felt like I was listening to Nightwish or After Forever or one of those above mission bands. So appreciate you reaching out. I certainly want to hear more. So please, when you guys have some more stuff up, be it in rough form or another video. Let me know. I would love to check more out. I do really appreciate you guys reaching out to me. So thank you very much. Thank all of you for the support. It continues to amaze me. I truly am humbled by it. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to my law enforcement, military veterans, and first responders for what you do every single day. I love you. I appreciate you. As always, you've been awesome. I've been bald men. I'll see you in the next one. Be excellent to each other and keep headbanging.